Hi YouTubers, back with an update. Can't do one every week because I'm busy, but Torch Coral. I've had this baby about three weeks now, doing fine. It was one of my nemesis though, Torch Coral. Couldn't keep them very well. It only seemed to last about a week. This this baby I've had about three weeks. It's got, I think it's got about four heads. The bloke told me I bought it off. And we're not talking small heads, we're talking medium sized heads on it. So it's pretty decent. And my hammer coral is improving. It's opening up. They're not within range that they can touch each other. But it likes the floor down there. That's doing well. So that's booking up. All from the same blog, these corals. As you can see that rock now the bottom mushrooms they're getting bigger and getting more the yellow polyps feeding really well it looks like I can see new little buds in that colony up there so hopefully some new ones should be coming out so that's doing really really well towards the one it's not complaining about the move, so it kind of likes it up there. As you can see, it's got some floor. And, uh, that pussy coral is closed up at the moment. It's not been open for the last day or two, but he'll be fine, he'll open up when he's ready to. Pulsing in here, covering everything. Purple tree coral. That's improved, it's really well. And the green mushrooms are really getting huge. They eat mice and brine. Brine shrimp. You can see they've been gone onto the rocks either side of them. So that's starting to spread. That green plate that, that come with the Medusa is getting bigger. And you can see the polyp extensions in the middle at the top. They're not huge polyps, but the it never showed them like that before. The Medusa. I keep waiting for it to open up it full. Well, it, uh, it doubles that, but it's never gone back to full how it was when I first got it. The other pussy coral's opening up. I was quite happy where it is. So everything's doing fine. The water's crystal clear. I'll zoom back so you can see the fish. They all think they're getting fed. I've never got any cyanobac since, so that medication has done the job. Plus, me hang on the back refugium, I keep on top of it a bit more now. I have a look at it a couple of times a week, make sure the Cheeto's doing okay, and uh, agitate it around a bit. Never since, fingers crossed, I've never had any cyanobac. So, if I get anything new or anything happens, I'll uh, post an update. But I finally got a torch coral, and it's lasted three weeks, still doing fine. And it's also helping me have a coral open up. So, everything's doing well. So, when I get any more news, I'll post you an update. Letters. <laughs>